Hello and welcome back to my channel Learn and Educate. In the previous video of Population Dynamics Part 1, we have already seen the distribution of population and the factors affecting it. For reference, I have shared that link in the description box below. Today, we will learn about overpopulation, underpopulation and composition of population. Before we start with overpopulation and underpopulation, it's very important to know what is optimum population. Optimum means best or most appropriate or you can say perfect. So what do you mean by a perfect or the best population? When the available resources meet the needs of all the people living in that area, then it is called optimum population. In other words, optimum population is a state of balance between population and the available resources in a particular area. A change in this state gives rise to two conditions. They are overpopulation and underpopulation. Now let's see what is overpopulation and underpopulation. Overpopulation. When the population of an area is more than what the available resources of that area can support, the condition is called overpopulation. That means population is more than the available resources. Now let's see what is underpopulation. When the population of an area is less than the available resources of that area, the condition is called underpopulation. So more population means overpopulation and less population is underpopulation. Now, before we move towards the causes of overpopulation and underpopulation, there are few important terms that we'll go through. In part one of this chapter, we have learned about migration. That is the movement of people from one place to another. Now let's see what is birth rate. Birth rate means the number of live births per thousand persons in a year. That means number of babies born in a particular place during a particular time. Hope this much is clear. The next term is death rate. Death rate means the number of deaths per thousand persons in a year. In simple language we can say that death rate is a number that shows how many people died in a particular place during a particular time. Hope this much is clear to you. Now let's see what are the causes of overpopulation. The causes of overpopulation are increase in birth rate. Definitely when the live births are more, the population will increase. All right. Next point can be decrease in death rate. When less people will die, the population will increase and migration of people to the area. When people will come and reside to a particular area, then the population of that area will increase. Now let's see the causes of underpopulation. The causes of underpopulation are decrease in birth rate. If the number of live birth is less, then what will happen? The population will be low. Next point can be increase in death rate. If more people are dying, then the population will decrease. And the third is migration of people out of that area. That means if the people from a certain area are moving or migrating and going and residing in some another area, then that area from which the people are moving will have less population as they are moving and they are going and settling somewhere else. All right. Now let's see the impacts of overpopulation and underpopulation. First of all, let's see impacts or effects of overpopulation. First one is overpopulation puts pressure on natural resources such as cultivable land, fresh water and mineral resources and result in their degradation and depletion. That means more people will need more land, more water, 
more mineral resources as a result of which the natural resource will start depleting or reducing all right next the increase in cultivable land through deforestation leads to extinction of plant and animal species decreased rainfall and increased soil erosion next point the increase in number of factories to meet the needs of the people results in industrial pollution that means more factories more pollution next point it leads to unemployment and poverty okay if there are more people everyone will not get jobs or you can say everyone cannot be employed as a result of which they'll face poverty okay next point is it leads to shortage of food shelter educational and healthcare facilities and other basic amenities which in turn affect the quality of life now let's see the impacts of underpopulation the impacts of underpopulation could be both positive and negative first we'll see the positive impacts first one there is no congestion or overcrowding all right when there will be less people there will be no overcrowding in any area okay next is there is less pressure on natural resources hence environmental degradation is low third point there are enough job opportunities for the people and thus low level of poverty this is exactly the opposite of what we have seen in overpopulation okay the fourth point is availability of higher per capita social and infrastructural facilities per capita means for each person that means for each person the availability of basic and the social facilities like uh, utility of roads schools everything will be at a higher rate all right now we will see the negative impacts of underpopulation what are they the first one there is shortage of labor next the shortage of labor hampers the production of goods and services hence the standard of living remains low third there is under utilization of available resources if there will be less people definitely the available resources will not be used at that high rate okay fourth is at times of war an underpopulated country might find it difficult to mobilize enough people to defend it definitely when there will be less people they won't be able to defend themselves or protect themselves all right so this was the impact of overpopulation and underpopulation now come to composition of population composition of population means the structure of the population like age sex literacy rate and occupation of the people around all right so let's start on the basis of place of residence the population can be classified into two types they are rural population and urban population rural population the population who live in villages are called the rural population urban population the people who live in towns and cities are called the urban population now let's see age composition age composition refers to the number of people in each group okay generally the population of a country is broadly divided into the following groups like children 0 to 14 years adults 15 to 59 years an aged 60 years and above there is one more thing which we need to remember is there are two groups of people who are treated as dependents those below 14 years and those who are 60 years and above people in the age group of 15 to 59 years are the working population and are considered economically active okay now let's see what is population pyramid population pyramid also known as age sex pyramid 
is useful to understand the composition of population of any country okay it is a graphical representation to show the distribution of males and females in different age groups now to make it more clear i'll show you some population pyramids the first one is population pyramid of an underdeveloped country if the death rate as well as the birth rate are high then the population pyramid is broad at the base and tapering towards the top okay as you can see in this figure the percentage of birth rate that is 0 to 4 years of age is broad isn't it that shows that the birth rate is high so this population pyramid shows that although the birth rates are high still many children die in their infancy and thus very few people reach old age as you can see less than one percent of males and females can reach up to the age of 69 plus okay now the next figure is population pyramid of a developed country if the birth rate and death rate are low then the population pyramid is narrow at the base you can see in the figure it has a narrow base that shows less birth rate okay the population pyramid shows that the decrease in death rates allow more people to reach old age one thing is clear that it is a developed country so it will provide more medical facilities as a result of which what will happen the death rate will decrease and more people will reach to the old age as you can see that we have more people above the age of 69 the next figure is the population pyramid of a developing country it shows that due to decrease in birth rate and death rates the base of the pyramid has become less broad because of less birth rate what is happening the base is becoming less broad as it was in the case of developed country so this was all about the composition of population and we must know that the birth rate death rate and migration affect the change of population in an area so this was all about population dynamics. Hope you have understood the chapter. Do like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you.